Uh, we're going to start off with Joseph Saley, current reigning champion, defending against Green Tea. Oh, man. <laughs> I mean, this is definitely going to be a high-octane match right from the get-go. All right. It, it's something that could be a grand finals, you know, any day of the week, any year. It looks like we're ready to go. Uh, give us uh, the... Okay. Is everybody ready for we're count some this down. high let's, level Tetris? Let's do a big countdown, guys. Get everybody excited. Three, Three two, two, one, Tetris. Tetris! Everybody starting with an O piece just right out of the gate. And top, here we go. So top five, we're going to be doing best three out of five instead of two out of three. Yeah, and of course, Joseph Saley, last year's champion. So I'm sure a lot of people are going to be watching on the bottom half of their... Joseph taking a slight early lead over Green Tea. <laughs> We've got good audience participation here. <laughs> oh, a slight little mistake there from Green Tea right at the start. Not going to be a problem. He's going to be able to clean that out. No problem. Yeah, perfect T piece right there is going to open up that hole. And there he goes. He's Tetris ready again. He's trying to figure out a way to fill in that little gap there. Had the perfect Z, uh, L and J piece there back to back. Gets Boom, a Tetris. Tetris for green tea. And there you go. Perfect uh, J piece there as well. Of course, all these players from a lot of different backgrounds. Green tea, of course, from the uh, Tetris Grandmaster games has... A turned himself into one of the premier NES players, NES Tetris players. Proving that skills are transferable, even if you're oh, great yeah. with a newer game, you can excel. Even for like, uh, I saw one of his videos on YouTube for Tetris Effect for him completing master level 30. Joseph with his own Tetris right now, and he's got a very clean play field right now. But guess who's got the high Tetris percentage rate? It's Green Tea. Mm, had to do a little bit of cover up there to Joseph. He should be fine, especially with his hyper tapping technique. Boom, he can play Tetris at a Joseph. higher level than anybody, than most players using the Daz technique. Right. Nice spin tuck there. There we go. Boom, boom Tetris, Tetris for, for Joseph. Joseph. And boom, Tetris for Green Tea. Green Tea still with a lead. And you know, Green Tea has turned himself into such a fan favorite. One of the main reasons why is because the man is always smiling. He's always having such a good time. And there's things like that that get people wanting to play and try Tetris. Absolutely, and right now Joseph trying to clean out a little bit. He's got that hole in the middle there on the fourth column, but he's gonna get, get access it now, and he's cleaned up and ready to go. Drilled down all the way to the bottom, but he's gonna turn out, have to turn the aggression on because Green Tea's <laughs> lead is getting up there. Yeah, but Green Tea also has that little nice stack of O pieces right in the middle there. Mm -hmm. Finally having other places to drop that. 
lot of times the landscape of the field determines where you can put the pieces as cleanly as possible. Mm, Boom, go. Tetris for Joseph. Catching up just a little now. But he needs to fill in that gap. You see, he has to have a J piece, and he's waiting for it. Mm. Now he needs the L piece. And he, ooh, okay. That's what he needs. Unlocks it with the triple. And Joseph is Tetris ready again. Again, for those who are watching and new to this, you know, if you're familiar with the newer games like Tetris Effect and such, the randomization of the pieces in this game are definitely not as friendly. It is a true randomization, so you can go long spaces with huge droughts. No telling how long your drought will last in this game. And green tea transitions. And when you transition, you notice that the speed increases drastically. That's why everybody starts at level 18, get all the points, and then transition at level 19. Looks like Joseph is going to transition with the Tetris here. Yep, and there boom, goes. Tetris for Joseph. Wow. Joseph with a very high field, but boom, Tetris for Joseph is going to give himself some breathing space. So you'll notice that Green Tea playing at a little bit faster pace, already at 160 lines. Joseph trying to set himself up for Tetris. There he goes. He's Tetris ready now. Where's that long piece? Boom, Tetris for Green Tea. And, and boom, go. Tetris for Joseph. We He's are neck and neck. Definitely so close. I mean, right on, you can see under the main scores, the difference between the scores in red and green. Both play fields looking good. And honestly, right now, that lead is basically non-existent at this point. Right. Every time one player gets the line piece, the other does as well. So if any of them miss a potential Tetris, that could mean the difference. Can you imagine Boom, if that Tetris first or green game tea. comes down just to one Tetris? But you can see right now, Dan QZ and Josh have also started uh, their second game. Wow. And we march on. We're at level 25 and level 24, respectively, on the bottom. Boom, Tetris for Green Tea. Now with a one Tetris lead. There we go. And now Green Tea Ooh. is ready to go. Jo Joseph trying to clean out this field. He got the long piece not when he needed it. He needs another one. Green no, Tea's in good way. shape okay, here. Okay, there we go. And look at this. Joseph's that still alive. Amazing dig by Joseph high up oh, top. No. But he, but and he gets another. Boom, there Tetris for Joseph. And Joseph is right back into it. Still pretty much neck and neck, but Green Tea just gets one Tetris ahead there. Uh oh. Can he get the long bar over? Oh, yes. Boom, oh, oh, Tetris for Joseph. And again, as a hyper tapper. Boom, Tetris for Green Tea. Dueling Tetris is to the end. We are getting to the kill screen here. Yeah, as soon as they get to level 29, it gets, quote, fast, too fast for them to survive. But Joseph has actually survived to like 32 or 33 in the past. Joseph with a well on the left side, clears out the double. Boom, Tetris to Joseph, maintaining his aggression, trying to catch up. He is one Tetris behind. Look at how much pressure these players are putting onto each other. You cannot give an We're going to have a double kill screen, potentially. Green Tea at the kill screen. Okay, so Green Tea is down, but it's 70, he has 73,000 up. Can Joseph do this? Tetris he gets one death. Tetris. Can he, he survive? Needs, oh my god, he can survive. He can hyper tap. Can he do this? Can he do this? No. Double. No, it's, it's not going to happen. Green oh Tea is going to take game number one. Green Tea Green takes tea the first game round. Number one. And you know what the crazy thing is? Green Tea was probably a little nervous. He was like, he could actually still do this.
Oh. Wow, a double kill screen between Green Tea and Joseph. And that's what a way to kick this off. That was just game one, and already it's like someone won the championship. Look at these guys. <laughs> and Green Tea and Joseph have begun game number two. Simul Tetris for Green Tea and Joseph. They are on pace exactly with each other. Green Tea is Tetris ready. Let's see what he tucks in there. Look at this. Spin. Boom, Tetris for Green Tea. Boom, Tetris for Joseph. Yeah, like I said, they're keeping pace with each other perfectly. Mm -hmm. Still early on. You can also see their Tetris rates. Joseph with an 80% Tetris rate right now. Both these players can be super aggressive when they need to be, but they can also defend and burn things off when mm -hmm. need be. So I think it's really both of their ability to do that is pushing each other. And that's mm -hmm. why we're seeing the double kill screens and super aggressive scores here. And that's one of the important things too. During the qualifying rounds, it's just points. And so the way that you play, the strategy that you use is very different in the direct head-to-head. -head. Because once you start playing head-to-head, -head, all of a sudden you can play depending on how your opponent is, if they're right. playing slow, if they have a lower percentage than you in terms of Tetris rates. You can really adjust your strategy. And right now, Green Tea is just having trouble here because he has not been able to clear his stack fully yet. There we go. At, got access to the hole, so he's going to be able to fill that up. So he is in great position now. Joseph with a two Tetris lead right now. Ready for another. Boom, Tetris for Joseph. And boom, Tetris for Green Tea. He's back in business. Joseph opening up on one almost 100,000 point lead mm -hmm. over Green Tea. <laughs> ah. Crowd getting into it. Boom, Tetris for Joseph. And boom, Tetris for Green Tea. Got a fight on our hands on the bottom as we hit about 100 lines, 30 away or so from transition. Still a lot of time. Green we saw what happened himself. last time. Oh, actually, he just got the pieces exactly as he needed. With the tuck? tuck there in there. Yep. But where's the long bar now? He's got to do some cleaning at this point. Yep, there you go. Both players navigating at the drought. Oh, but Green Tea handling it. And there you go, the long bar Boom, just in time. Tetris. For both players. They're both on the same piece drop at the same pace. So when one gets the bar, the other does as well. Yep. Double Tetris is all around.
that was such a nice tuck there from Green Tea. That was beautiful. Ooh. And now he's just holding out for a couple of line pieces. No, he's going to go ahead and do one line burn right there. You can also see how many lines the players have burned between their Tetrises. Green Tea now transitioning. Down 100,000 points. Joseph is quite a bit in the lead. Green Tea will have to turn on the aggression. And you know, when you're down that many points, a lot of times you can think to yourself, well, I can count on the other guy maybe topping out. And if I just play patiently, I'll be okay. But the problem is, this is, jo Joseph. this is Joseph <laughs> Saley here, and you can't count on him to top out. And Green Tea, the best thing about it is, you know exactly how he's feeling at every second of the game. And he's still having fun even under all this pressure. <laughs> He's going to open up that center well. Yeah, perfect triple pieces now. back to back. And he's going to be able to get himself oh, set up for a Tetris. Nice and, and tuck that, yep. And now he's got to, yeah, he's got to clean up. So he's not Tetris ready now. Almost. But Ooh. he needs, yeah, there you go. But there it is. He chose not to clean. He's going for the center well Tetris right now. There's yeah, boom. there we go. Center well Tetris or green tea. <laughs> Joseph was 777 on the board. <laughs> Boom, Tetris Boom. or Joseph. Yeah, and meanwhile, while we're sitting there watching Green Tea trying to dig himself out of this, Joseph has just been playing so great. He is on massive max out pace. He is at 79%. You need about a 60% to get a max out pace, but he is at 79. Almost in defiance of what happened last round. Look at that. Boom, Tetris Dude. or Green Tea. Boom, Tetris or Joseph. 80% Tetris rate at, 23, at level 23. And just so you guys know, maxing out means that you get 999,000 points. That's as high as the game will register. James, I'm excited. This could be it. This could be the max out. The first max out. Yeah, we had uh, about 12 max outs, I believe, during the qualification rounds. But we had an not actual had, match. Yeah, but we haven't had one in the actu actual match. And we are on pace for that right now. 39. Green tea set up for a Tetris. Mm. Ooh, he's going to need a couple of long bars. He yeah, the drought the double. Is, is hurting him right now. Did not get to utilize. Doesn't want to go set for up. the triple. Boom, Tetris for Joseph for one, like one away from a max out here. Oh, no. A misplacement Ooh. right there. But Boom, Tetris out. for Joseph. We max have a max out. Right out. One million points for Joseph. Wow. Insane. But for Joseph, it's just another day at the office. <laughs> Official max out here on the tournament, and we're Green still Green Tea's still going. fighting. Oh, oh, no, he couldn't quite get Green it over by Green Tea. There. I don't think he's going to be able to get past yeah. that. It's insurmountable. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> and again. But how about that? Just a reminder here that the game itself doesn't register over a million points. It maxes out at 999999, but this special... We have a special right, interface with, uh, here that we're Trey calculating it manually. Math calculations on the screen for us. We know he has surpassed 1 million points for the first time in CTWC history and competition play. We went from a double kill screen to a max out in the very next game. But not, not only that, but it's only one to one right now for Green Tea and Joseph. We could potentially go the whole distance with five games. And if they're all like this, I don't know if I can survive the rest of this day. I'm shaking.
green tea right now. Not quite set up for the Tetris, so he's got to drop that eyepiece on the side, unfortunately. Meanwhile, Joseph hunting for that L piece. Didn't get it. A little bit of misdrop drop right there. And you'll be doing a bit of digging. Yeah. Both players playing But he's going to get a Tetris right there, a dirty Tetris. And Joseph just settling for the triple right there. And perfect timing for that Z piece. And yeah, smart stuff right there. If he had dropped the L piece into that slot, he would have blocked the hole. So he moved it to the side and was able to uncover it on the next piece instead. And there we go. Boom, Tetris for Joseph. And boom, Tetris for Green Tea. And even though Green Tea is one of the newer players, he still uses the Daz method instead of the hyper tapping method. That's true. We've seen this dynamic before. It's really exciting because it's such different styles of play, their movement abilities. But what's interesting is a lot of the young crew is leaning towards the hyper tapping. You almost kind of feel like at some point in time, it's just going to become the dominant strategy. Boom, Tetris or Green Tea. But if you have DAS players learn how to hyper tap, then you've kind of oh, got yeah. the best of both worlds. So Absolutely, you would have the ability to do both. Looking for a hyper tapping DAS hybrid <laughs> as an evolution. Joseph with a little bit of a, a hole that he needs to clean out. Green T holding out for an either L or J. Finally got it. Oh no, unfortunately here with a little bit of an unfortunate RNG. He needs a long bar now, but he can probably, oh, that's perfect. right now this is this, I think I feel like I mean how many people out there would love to see every match go all five games <laughs> we're yeah. seeing it happen green tea and Joseph almost on the way to transition with about 10 lines to go Once again, the transition, once that happens, you got to adjust to the sudden burst of speed. Play Green fields team. are pretty clean. Is right. Joseph going to transition with the Tetris? He's got a couple but lines Green to burn. Green has a, a lead right now of about 90,000. And he's going to transition with via Tetris. Tetris. And boom, Tetris for Joseph transitioning with the Tetris. Boom. There we go. Simul Tetrises. Both players able to utilize the long bar. Tetris or Green Tea. Boom, Tetris for Joseph. Green Tea slightly ahead on pace. Oh 
not happening. Can Joseph get Joseph it over? Needs to, oh, that's the perfect piece. Boom, that's touches perfect. to Joseph. Held out just long enough to make that happen. Oh, yeah. Sometimes you're thankful for the fortunate RNG, but you know what? To be able, be able to survive that long so that the RNG can help you is amazing. Oh, man. Look how oh, high so his high. field is. Oh, boom. Tetris, get Tetris for Joseph. And Tetris, boom, Tetris for, for green, green tea. tea. Oh, my God. Boom. Tetris for Joseph. Green Tea not utilizing the bar in the same way because he wasn't set up. But here we go. You can see right now both players getting boom, that back to back Tetris. Tetris. Yep. Ooh, and there we go. Z spin opening it up. And he's Tetris ready. But that means Green Tea is going to build the lead a little bit here. And boom, boom Tetris. Tetris for Joseph. <sighs> and Joseph. Boom, Tetris for Green Tea. Green Tea maintaining a small lead right now. Green Tea taking the triple. Yeah, he burns for a triple right now, which is going to give the opportunity for Joseph to catch up if he can keep getting Tetrises like that. Every lion piece counts now. You have to use it for the maximum score when you've got two players that push each other this hard. Boom, exactly. Tetris or Joseph. And that's the hardest part is normally... Boom, could, Tetris or Green Tea. Normally you could try to relax a little bit, but you can't with these two Boom. players. It's just going back and forth. We could see a double max out. Oh my goodness. They are both at above 65% rate right now. This is ridiculous. Boom, Tetris for Joseph. Green Tea almost Tetris ready. Tetris ready. Win for the log bar. There, there it is. is. Boom, Tetris for Green Tea. Level Lady, 26. 914,000 points. We're going to max points. out oh, well wait, before kill screens hang here. Hang on a second. Green Tea with some unfortunate RNG right here. He's got to clean himself out. He's working on it. Log bar came. He needs another long bar. He needs another long bar. There, there it is. is. Okay. And Single, a perfect square piece. Out. Oh, nice. Cleaning it out. Boom, Tetris oh, no. for Joseph. Boom. Green tea. Both players, just a couple of Tetris is away is from maxing out. Boom, Tetris max out by Joseph. This Green is Green tea looking madness. for a max out. Oh my goodness. Green tea about to max out. Can he do it? Can he clear out its alley? A couple of pieces away from a max out for Green tea. Oh, he could do it if he gets a long bar right now. He needs a long bar. There it There's is. A long bar. Oh, oh no. Oh, oh no. Tetris for Green double tea. Max double out. max out. Oh my goodness. What is happening here? Still playing. Joseph has taken the lead. And Joseph has taken the lead for and almost Joseph the first time in the game. The oh ladies. my goodness. Ladies wow. and gentlemen, a double wow. max out oh, no. from Green Tea and Joseph. Wow. This is high level Tetris, everybody. We have not seen it. This competitive, record smashing, left and right, back-to-back -back games, double kill screen, our first max out, and our first double max out. Green Tea and Joseph, who have been giving us 
some of the most amazing matches that we have ever seen in CTWC history. Oh, Joseph missing the T-spin. <laughs> and you know, and this tells you just how confident these players are. He misses it and he's like, whatever, whatever, I'm fine. It's not even a problem. They're just making Tetris history on stage. It's no big deal. <laughs> so there you go. But unfortunately, he's got that uh, really unwieldy S stack in the middle right now. He should be able to clear it out if he can get... Oh, no. He's going to... Is he going to transition over to a left side left Tetris well for built. now? Yeah. It's there we go. ready to go. May Perfect. as well. Boom. Tetris for Joseph. There we go. And it's kind of uh, stuck for him that way right now. He hasn't really had an opportunity to move the Tetris well back to the right. As you can see. Oh, no. Perfect back-to-back -back L and J. He saw it developing. And green tea with a nice clean play field now. And again, as often as you can see some droughts that look like they just destroy players, sometimes you get the right pieces in a row and it's wonderful. He still needs a long bar to fill that hole, though, in the third column, does does Joseph. Green tea's lead's pretty big, though. 100,000 yeah. points. Let's see if Joseph can catch up. Yeah, all the cleaning that Joseph has had to do so far mm -hmm. has put him, given him a Joseph. little bit of a deficit. But again, we've seen how long he can survive. You're never, ba the no lead is good enough against Joseph. <laughs> <laughs> and boom, Tetris for Joseph. Fighting back that deficit just a little. We're still early on, about halfway to transition. Mm. Blocks off that right well because he went for the clean. Green Tea's going to be in cleanup mode for a while. That's no, fine. He's oh, back no. into he's, it. He's back in it. Yeah. Burns off the roof. All right, got to do a little clean. Oh, but perfect right there. Yeah. Boom, Boom Tetris for Green Tea. And he has 134,000 lead. Here we go. Trying to burn off some pieces over there on the right column to set up the Tetris. Boom, Tetris to Joseph. All right, just need something now to be able to fit over there on the left. There we go. And now he's Tetris ready, but he does need a tuck. And there it is, the perfect piece for that. But again, he's trying to play it safe. Oh, wow. He's just going to go ahead and cover it. Fill it back down any way he can. Crowd really rooting Ooh. for Green Tea. Spin from Joseph, and boom, Tetris to Joseph. Rewarded by that. A little bit of a mistake that. for Green Tea, but he should be able to get himself out of there. Not too bad. Oh, no, 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 no. Actually, the RNG. The RNG. The RNG Ooh. can give it and take it away. Green Tea with some trouble here. Nice. Dealing the best he can here. Oh. Oh, oh no, no. He couldn't get it, it over. Is. And so now Joseph should just be able to take this here. Green Tea with a very bad series of pieces there. Not very friendly RNG. And now Joseph One can just away. take his time. Boom. Te <laughs> there it is. Joseph has done it. He has eliminated Green Tea. Wow. Joseph, our reigning champion, is going to move on in probably one of the highest quality level of play for a CTW match in history. I am in awe at the performance I just saw. Let's bring in the world champ, Joseph Saley. <laughs> so, <laughs> I, what did we just watch, man? What on earth was that? Two top, uh, two max outs back to back. Uh, just to describe the feeling of having maxed out for the very first time in CTWC history in a live tournament. I'm glad I can do that for you guys. I mean, if this is, is this what I'm really gonna have to work for? Jesus, man. <laughs> like, please, <laughs> give me a break. Oh my gosh. Talk about green tea as an opponent. It really felt like you two were pushing each other to the, I mean, pardon the pun, the max here. Like you guys were really motivating each other. I know, it's just, I don't know, Green Tea is amazing. He's super consistent. Like, I'm really glad that we can get it together. <laughs> I don't know what to say, it's amazing. What do, you make, what do you make of this? It seems like after you won in 2018, you motivated so many young players to pick up the game, to, to idolize your performance, and pick up the game and play here today. What do you make of all of that? I know, I'm just really glad that we have all these young competitors coming out. I'm really, thank you so much for coming out. You make my heart. Oh, <laughs> thank you guys so much. All right, well, you got another matchup to attend to. The champ moves on in the tournament. James and Chris, back to you.
you know, one of the things I've, I've always liked to like in Joseph Saley's performance, I don't know how many people out there like follow professional poker out there, but when Chris Moneymaker took the World Series of Poker, it really spawned a whole bunch of new competitors coming in. And I feel like Joseph Saley has done something very, very similar. As soon as he won, just everybody was inspired shows to shows that it's try. possible. It's possible. Yes. You don't have to invest 20 years into the game. Just one and doing really well and really investing yourself in it. Exactly. It's its own payoff.